Yep, one, two, three, four. Keep going, don't let him stop if he tries to go to the bathroom because it'll ruin our rhythm. Keep going, a little bit faster. And now think about the steering. So keep that right leg on him and your left rein pulled so we stay over a little bit. One, two, three, four. Keep going. Yeah, now last time he slowed down right after he passed all those people. So right after them, keep your leg on him. And then just straighten his head, good job. That's okay, so when he goes too fast, we just half halt. Keep going because he might think he gets to stop there. A little half halt. We're trying to get it smoother. Yep, look up. Keep going. Yep, keep half halting and popping his head up. That's better. Yep. Good. Now we're going to stop him there. So we'll, and we're going to give him a break for a couple of seconds. So that was. Stay on your seat pockets a little bit more. Good, so keep going. Yep, stay right on your seat pockets. A little bit more leg, just a tiny bit. You're doing good. Good job. Now we're just gonna keep going around this way. Good job. Now again, when he sees those horses, this game if he tries to canter slide the bit across his top yep good keep sitting back so it might be smooth but no he's still a little bit more lateral so try to bring his head down good job keep your leg on him good job buddy and every time he does something right sigh you know or tell him he's good but don't take your leg off keep going yep so you're gonna have to use a lot of right leg Sometimes people even have to put a spur just on one leg to help them get that horse straight because the horse is ignoring the leg. Good job. Keep going. So, so it might be hard to see his legs because he keeps swapping stuff around. And some of them do it so quick, you're like, what the heck is going on? I feel like I'm in a blender. Yep. So when he actually fox trots, you'll feel a little bounce up and down. If it's going more side to side, it's more a step pace. If it's completely smooth, it's more a step pace or a rack. Keep trying to get that head down. So I'd still like his head lower. That's better. And what I want you to do is sit back as far as you can. If you've seen any of those people racking, you see they lean back and they look kind of crazy, some of them. 
But what we're trying to do is get our weight back because the more it's tipped forward and the more we squeeze with our thighs, it's gonna send them kind of the other way. Keep sitting back, keep going. Yep, we still wanna get that head lower. Good, keep your right leg on her, lean back, keep thumping her with that right leg if she's cutting in. And if you think she didn't do it well enough, you make a circle. Because it didn't look too bad, but it matters what it feels like. Good, so you're gonna go around again. Bring her head a little bit lower. Good, and then breathe, that's where she got a little fast. I think I cut your head off on the video. Good, lean back, your right leg hold her. I'd take her in a circle. Yeah, she did something we didn't like so much. Lean back, because now you got pitched forward and get a little tougher with your hand. And again, it's not that I want you to yank on her. I just want you to put pressure and make it uncomfortable for her. I'd circle a couple more times. If her head's getting better, lean back. Yep, lean back. Good, and remember, this is the hard part. When you get mad at her because she's dragging you, try to open your mouth and breathe. Yep. And you just tell her, I don't care. Because she wants you to fight with her because then she gets you frustrated and then she wins because she gets her head up. Good job. Lean back. Breathe. Yeah, relax your thighs a little bit. I'd take her in another circle. Yeah. Lean back more. Look up a little bit higher. Yeah. And just so she knows, you can drag me around the arena, but every time you do, I take you in this miserable circle. But to her, she's counting on you giving up. So she has to be sure you really mean it. So that might mean you have to do it a hundred times with her for her to believe it. So I'd keep going. Yep, keep leaning back. I'd make another circle because she got her head up and kind of got faster again. A little bit shorter. Yep, and make sure as you're doing the leg yield, look where you want to end up. 
That's it. You can always peek at her, but then keep staring at that corner because that's where you want to end up. Good with your stick. Good job. Yep, and then push her over again and she's slowing down, so get after her. Good. Turn your toe out. Yep, turn your toe out a little bit more like a frog. Yep, and try it again. So all the way around and do it again. Yeah. Now this is bouncing. So it's more towards the trotty side. So bring his head up. Yeah. And you, when you bring his head up, you're just going to pop it up and then let go of it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So keep going. But yes, that was more a harder trot. And then the poles are going to make him trot more. So you really got to get his head up if he hits the trot. Okay. So try it again. So I'm trying to look at you, but videotape it. I'm going to really exaggerate her head down. What was that? Like a fox trot. Keep going. Keep clocking. Yeah, it's a step pace, but that's the Rocky's gait. Is that a Rocky? Yes, it's a Rocky. Yep. So she's in and out. Sometimes he's pacing a little bit, and then he step paces. But keep going so I can videotape it for you. Keep his head up. Now he's hard pacing. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Keep his head down. Yes. Pacing. Now can you feel that? That feels good. Okay. That's his rocky gait. Okay, I like that. Okay. <laughs> All right, so stop him and give him a break. <laughs> yeah, so again, that's a nice slow gait and very smooth. So as you speed him up, remember, think of you going a little bit side to side. So there he's a little bit more trotty side. Good. Now if it's bumpy, go for a pole because he got a little pacey. <laughs> now you can hit more poles because you're aiming for the next one. So right now you're not bouncing. It looked pretty good. All right, I'm going to him up along here. Okay. Now he's doing it. It's slow, but it's getting a little bumpy. So it means he's getting a little bit more pacey. Yeah. So think of bringing his shoulders in a little bit. Off the rail, oh, but without losing your speed. So now he's gone more towards the trotty side. Now he's lateral again. So more towards his rocky gait. Yep. It's getting a little bumpy. <laughs> Good. Now he's back towards the trotty side. There you go. Now he's lateral again. But see how quick it switches? 
Yes. So you're bumping a little bit. I would try slowing down and moving his shoulders over. <laughs> He's like, Gay said I could slow down. <laughs> That's all right. Try and get it one more time. Don't quit on that one. <laughs> 